Richie, who are we doing this film on? Van Dyke. Who? Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Oh, Dick Van Dyke. Isn't he dead? No. Well, he was great on that Mary Tyler Moore show, I'll tell you. And I love No, him. no, no. The football player. Mary Tyler Moore played football? No, Van Dyke played football. Van Dyke. Oh, Bruce Van Dyke? One of the things that sticks out the most in my mind was my rookie year. And, you know, you can imagine rookies, sort of the dregs of the world. You had to, when we went on the, on the uh, away games, you always had to sit in the back of the plane. And, well, you, you accepted that. But Bruce was the kind of guy who was a wily old veteran. And he would, if the, the veterans always got to sit in first class. And you could, a rookie could sit there if a veteran brought him in. So Bruce was always nice enough to bring me into the seat beside him in first class. They can... Now here's his young quarterback. I want to keep him fresh. You know, I want to keep him, you know, well rested. Give him a nice, relaxing deal. Before the pilot put on his fasten seatbelts on, Bruce had the cards out. I thought, boy, this is nice. And he's telling me all this game. I never knew how to play gin in my life. Then after you know a game going to Cleveland, he said, "Well, you owe me two hundred dollars." It was really shocking. Well, this is my expensive way of learning how to play gin. Little did I know until after the season. The reason I got that seat, there was there were about 20 veterans that were, that were bidding on that seat to have me beside him because he knew what kind of fish I was. So, Bruce, I figure you owe me probably my rookie check from that year. Bruce, in all seriousness, there's no need for me to talk about your football prowess because you wouldn't be at this evening if you weren't a great football player because you weren't going to make it on your good looks, believe me. But uh, I consider you more than a teammate, a truly a good friend, and enjoy this evening because it's well-deserved.